got the bunk bed totally assembled um, and it's just a great fit in this room. Next step is to prepare the plywood for the upper bunk. This is the area where she's gonna play. Um, so we're gonna put a smooth piece of plywood and then we're gonna put a rug and some pillows and um, some cute bins so that she can just make it her own space. And then up here you'll see there's some holes. Um, the pre-drilled holes for the roof that it came with it's really cute. It's a nice gray, smooth, finished roof, but it only goes halfway. And um, my vision was a playhouse look, so I want to create a new roof that goes all the way across. Um, it's going to be just a natural pine color. I'm going to just actually cut uh, plywood because um, it has that nice smooth finish. It's lightweight and it will coordinate with the pegboard that I need to. So let's go out to the garage and get started. So uh, once you have your plywood cut, um, you want to give the edges a good sanding. I even um, sanded the front, uh, the top actually, and Home Depot cut it perfectly for me. So um, you just can tell them your exact measurements and they'll cut it horizontally and vertically, at least at the Home Depot I go to. And it was such a perfect fit. Um, I was a little bit nervous, um, but once I got each corner lined up, it was just a matter of um, pushing each corner down and it was a perfect fit. So Quinn will not be getting her fingers pinched around this uh, plywood bed. So um, then I went ahead and I just kind of put it back in a position against the wall um, just to get more room around. It's a very small bedroom and um, I needed to be able to have space to, after I construct the roof, to put it on top and get it ready. So um, I always wear my safety glasses and and I marked my spots on my uh, quarter inch plywood and used a clamp and a board to guide my circular saw. And this part went really quick. Um, it was very easy to mark my spots, make my cuts, but it was freezing outside. So I eventually got on some gloves. Um, I laid out all my pieces and measured it to make sure I had the right length. And then I sanded each of the roof shingles down. Um, now it was time to construct it. So I used two six foot one by twos and they're a foot apart. And then I just used a wooden ruler to have kind of a nickel gap. A nickel was too skinny. I liked the size of the ruler. And then I just used my brad nail gun by Rigid um, to place four nails per board. So um, it was super easy. This was the most fun because it was actually coming together and it went rather quickly. Um, I just made sure all my boards were lined up top and bottom and that the two six foot boards were a foot apart the whole length. So my husband helped me bring the roof in and then I used clamps to keep it in place so that no one had to stand there forever. Clamps are my best friend in all my projects and so um, this secured it. it. We were able to measure to make sure that the the shingles hung over the same length all the way across and then I just used my brad nail gun. I went all the way across the top and um, I had a few that kind of um, curved out and so I just used pliers, pulled it out and I reset the brad nail. Easy peasy. Then I just went across and did the same thing along the bottom. So there, this is very secure. It's totally in there. And if it were to slip, I, I'm not sure how, but um, one of the six foot boards, it would, it would catch. So I feel really safe about the construction and it's very lightweight. So once the roof was on, clamps came off and I was so excited about the way it looked. The beautiful pine boards matched um, my huge pegboard. And then it was time to decorate. So. I'm using this rug for now, but I did find one that's a better size fit for the twin size. And I got some really soft bins so she can put her toys and just keep things organized up there. And I got these really cool floor pillows from Cost Plus World Market and two of them just uh, squished in perfectly side by side with each other. And so I thought, you know, this is going to be um, a great little couch area just at one end where she can read or use her imagination um, just hang out um, and when she did see the bed she did exactly that she knew what to do at the spot so 
I like how one end is kind of a, a little seating area, a little cozy couch, and then the other side is more for playing and having her stuff. Um, I use this picture ledge from Ikea to stack her books, and there's a little bin of stuffies in this corner. And then in her closet, I like doing her clothes in rainbow order. It makes it fun for her to pick out something, and she loves butterflies, so the right side of the bed we have this cost plus world market butterfly canvas and then of course all her stuffies are color coordinated too um, which is a lot of fun because she still loves her stuffed animals okay i've been working on your bedroom for about two weeks and it's all ready are you ready to see it What do you think? Look at your bed. Okay. Worked on this a long time. You ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> what do you think? What is it? I'm a butterfly. You are. <laughs> now let's look at your closet. It's an owl picture. Give me the I love this one so much. And that flower and that butterfly plant. Wow! Oh. Ooh. Cute owl's gonna come and come with me. My name is Quinn. And my mom made my bedroom for me. And I love my bunk. I love this bed because I'm gonna show you what I love. Because it has a roof and you can also see nature up on this, but you can because my mom said no. You can just do this on your knees. That's fine, just not too high because you what if I fall and hurt your face on the floor? What's your other favorite things? And there's a cute little window you can peek out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, look behind you guys here. Let me get down first. Okay. Just go to the side. Just look. Okay. And I have the big giant butterfly. You love it? It has pink. It's like a, it's like a sunset. Pink. Like light pink. Orange. Yellow and blue. My favorite color on the butterflies. Yeah. Okay, what's your third most favorite thing? <laughs> mm -hmm. And that too. <laughs> A part of the desk. Tell me about your yeah. desk. I'm going to tell you about this owl. What's most special about this owl, it looks real and it has... And it has too much fluff, and it's so real. We can even trick people with this special thing. You want to trick somebody? And also, this butterfly, and it's a paper butterfly. It's soft right here, and it can. And, and I'm gonna put the butterfly where this necklace is. Put the butterfly charm in there. I'll show you. Are you gonna make lots of arts and crafts at this desk? Yeah, and I'll, I'll show you something. Okay, this. guys, get close to. We this. can't stand on the desk. Yep, I know. The last one, the legs broke. Do you remember? Yeah. Look at this butterfly. Is it pretty? Okay, let's go and talk about my desk now in real life. Okay, so what? what's one of your favorite things about the desk? That. This beautiful picture. You like birds and butterflies, yeah? Mm -hmm. And look at this. And it even has a bird here. I want to count the birds for you. One, two. And some pretty leaves and sticks, but this bird looks like it's, like, this bird is Quinn, that bird, that bird is Quinn, this bird is Sawyer laying eggs. And that's me kiss, getting some, going to the bathroom in a tree. All right. It's funny to go. Okay, well. And then also two more things. Two more things. Mm -hmm. This beautiful flower. Mm-hmm. Okay. Guys, you get close to this flower, you might see something. 
See this little pointy thing? That's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. And then also look at this. You like that, yeah. Look. Wow. Mm -hmm. it's so cool. Okay, well, why don't you say thanks for watching? Please subscribe and click the channel. Watch more. Bye.